Hello, I'm Cliff Hall from Cortex with another snack video. In this edition, I'll show how simple it is to enter a purchase receipt in Acumatica 6.1. Signing into our screen, we have our dashboards, and over on the left-hand side, we have our favorites. Earlier in a previous snack video, we talked about how you can do a receipt in the purchase order, so let's refresh that idea. The most recent purchase order is 257. From the Actions tab, I can go ahead and click on Enter PO Receipt, which will allow me to go right to the PO screen with all the information that belongs to this purchase order. And also, I can go ahead and change the order quantity. If the vendor sent less or more, and I choose to accept that, then I can go ahead and change that on that receipt. That's one way. Another way is to go to Purchase Receipts. The Purchase Receipt side uh, takes a little bit more effort, but does provide a lot more flexibility. In this area, I can go ahead and add an inventory item on the fly if I want to, as long as there is a purchase order that goes along with it. I can also add a PO line or add a PO. Take a look at adding two POs at one time. By clicking this and opening up my uh, order number field, I can take a look and add two POs at the same time if I want to for the same vendor. Both lines are then added for those two separate and different POs. Here's an example of how we see that. Notice there are two different POs there. However, today, I just want to go ahead and receive the one that we did on the previous example, number 257. In that case, I click on Add a PO or Add PO Line. Click on Add PO Line. Notice that it keeps the default from the previous PO that you were looking at. So you can just click that in Backspace and then tab through it, and then all the rest of the purchase orders will show up if you want to do it that way. However, we're going to just add the one PO, 257. Click Add and Close. 257 is now here, and if I wanted to receive a different amount, I just click on the receipt quantity of 9, because they shorted us by 1. Notice here that there's a Create Bill checked here. So what that means is that once we release this receipt, not only will inventory be updated, but it will also go ahead and create a bill for the, uh, the vendor. Um, to pay for the vendor in our AP side. So we'll take a look at that as well. We'll leave this checked. So once we're ready, we can go ahead and click Release. Upon releasing, then the inventory will be updated and the AP document will be created. So let's take a look at those. So we can view the inventory document. Separate screen, there is the actual receipts. We'll see that in our report in a moment. We can also look at the AP document which is a bill for the same amount. 2151 here, 2151 there, uh, all set and ready to go for the AP side. Now let's take a look how it affected inventory. We're gonna look at our inventory valuation. Before we do that, let's take a quick look back at the inventory document and see this number 209. We should see that on our inventory report. I've opened it up in a separate tab. You can actually open up many tabs inside of Acumatica all in the same database signed on as the same person. Here we're going to take a look at the uh, inventory valuation report. And down below we'll see right here that we have number 209 and done for today's date. 2151 as expected. And that's really all there is to doing a purchase receipt in Acumatica 6.1. Thank you for watching another Cortex Snack video. Subscribe below and find out more about how we can help you enhance productivity and increase your profits. Too many systems that can't get along? Time to change Documatica. One system, one solution. Find out more at Cortex.com.